Today we're reviewing the Manfrotto Pixie Evo Mini Tripod. Now as its name suggests, this is an evolution of the extremely popular Manfrotto Pixie series of mini tripods. The older Pixie is still up for sale and a lot of people will find that it meets their needs. However, the Pixie Evo solves quite a few of the problems that the original Pixie had, and we'll talk about them in some detail. Let's take a closer look at this little tripod. Now, as with the original Pixie, the Pixie Evo is a foldable, portable mini tripod. So you can open the legs out, and there you go. You have a tripod that you can travel with, that you can place on a desk, a table, or even an uneven surface, and I'll show you that in a minute. It has a quarter 20 male mount on the top, and this mount is tightened and loosened using this thumb wheel, which is located right under the camera mount. This makes it really easy to mount the camera to this rig. And as with the original Pixie, it has a ball head, which allows you to mount the camera in any position that you desire, including vertically to take photos. However, unlike the original Pixie, which had a push button locking mechanism, this actually has a tightening knob which locks the ball head in place. Now Manfrotto probably did this because this tripod can actually handle slightly larger loads than the original Pixie. So this thumb screw actually helps to lock it in place with a larger load on top. Now one of the major issues that I found with the original Pixie was the fact that you only had one set height. So you really couldn't adjust the height very much you had one minimum height, you had one maximum height, and that was it. So in case you needed a little extra height or you needed to adjust it on an uneven surface, you were kind of stuck. You were stuck with that one height. So Manfrotto with the Evo has gone ahead and solved this problem. Manfrotto has added extendable locking feet to the Evo. This allows you to press this red button and slide in and slide out the outer leg. It has five locking positions on the inside, which allow you to lock it in five distinct positions. And these legs allow you to vary the height of the tripod from a minimum of six and a half inches to a maximum of eight and a quarter inches in the fully extended mode. Now the Evo also adds an extremely cool angle adjustment option, an option that's commonly found on much higher end tripods. And this gives you the option of two different leg angles. The regular leg angle, which I just showed you, and something called the low profile leg angle and switching it out to the low profile mode allows the tripod to drop to a minimum height of four inches. Extremely useful when capturing stuff that's very close to the ground. Now extending the legs out in the low profile mode also gives a very heavy cameras with say a large zoom lens a whole lot more stability. Not only does it lower the profile of the tripod, it also gives it a whole lot more stability in this mode. The Evo very comfortably supports larger mirrorless cameras and entry level DSLRs up to 5.5 pounds or two and a half kilograms in weight. And it seems extremely stable both in the regular orientation and in the low profile orientation. And with the legs folded up, it becomes an extremely useful camera grip. And this grip allows you to shoot video as you're walking or to even shoot very low to the ground shots. And with the legs completely extended, you can flip the ball head into the vertical position and it becomes a very handy selfie stick. Now I will admit this is not my favorite application of this mini tripod, but I'm sure there's a whole lot of people who will find this really useful. So our overall thoughts about the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. The original Manfrotto Pixie was a great little mini tripod. It was very easy to carry around. It was very portable. It folded together. It was very well built. And a lot of people went out and bought these and loved them. The Pixie Evo retains all the great stuff from the original Pixie. However, it addresses each and every shortcoming of the original Pixie. It adds extendable legs to adjust the height. It adds a beefier locking mechanism for the ball head. And it even goes ahead and gives you a low profile angle mode, which allows the tripod to drop down even lower and keep its load even more stable. So overall, the Pixie Evo is a great upgrade to the original Pixie. It's extremely well designed, extremely well built, very well thought out, and an extremely good investment for any professional or semi-professional photographer or videographer. 
great little piece of kit to have. Now the original Pixie is still for sale, so in case you're looking to buy that, I'll put a link in the description below. I've also put a link to the Pixie Evo in the description below, so feel free to check that out. I uh, hope this review has been useful. If it has, please hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews. Thank you very much for watching.